Hello, and welcome back to the Tomaturge. Ended up here before the carriage, so we can travel back to the cemetery. So we need to pick up Svetlana. And she should be now, yeah, at Rasputin's place. Yes, sir. Sarah in a hurry. Please let me in. It's urgent. You can't just turn up like this. What will I tell sir and madam? Fear not, I'm here for Rasputin. I can sense he's in a drawing room. Am I bothering you? Not at all. I've just got a few people together who I can assist with their spiritual purification. Have you come to get our friend? First ask who's crying like that. Who's crying like that? A sinner, Victor. Bemoaning his poor choices and the temptations he succumbed to. I didn't invite you this time. I know you're in a hurry. Say yes and leave. You don't want to bother him. I'm taking her. We haven't got time. Time is only a concept, but I understand. Good luck. Good luck to you as well. I hope that you've had a hospitable stay. You have uh, unsettling friends, truly. The Nadarzynskis are reserved and boring, unlike that uh, Grigory. What do you think of him? I don't. I'd like to leave this place now, if possible. Confirm that he can go. We'd better get a move on. Finally, don't forget my luggage. Ask what's in the chest. How many dresses and pairs of stockings do you need? As many as I'd like. I have some very profitable secrets in that chest. Blackmail? Insurance. Correspondence with various people who aren't... Entirely aware that I didn't burn their letters. Do I understand that this time around I'll be lugging the chest myself? Hurry up. All right. Don't look around. This ain't a museum. Head down. That building in front of you. The entrance is around the corner. You pick some very interesting people to work with. What's that? From now on, that's your problem. Entrance around the corner, right? You know what you're doing. Did you want a pumpkin carriage and some glass slippers, senora? Smuggling in as romantic as that. Javier, yes? I've outgrown fairy tales. I'm here to make a deal. I left that fucking chest by the door. I could barely lug it. Big as a whale's two heads. We gonna do something or just... Stand here and stare. Ask about the police at the port. The police at the entrance have me a little concerned. Did something happen we should worry about? Esos pinches pendejos can't keep their hands to themselves. Someone fucking filched a weapons transport and now the police are shitting themselves. 
They're looking high and low, even under hookers' skirts. Somos profesionales. We'll keep out of sight, and it'll be gone, Skeet. Ask for details of the plan. So what's the plan? What are we doing? You'll get papers. Austrian ones. Almost authentic, but don't go flashing them left and right. Then it's off to the pier, and onto a boat out of the city. Then a steamship upriver. In Krakow, a transfer to a Vienna-bound train. You'll be there in a few days. Si, sí, bueno. As soon as we agree on the money. Discuss payment. Your turn. Tell the gentleman about the compensation. You'll get my whole fortune. The appropriate paperwork will be yours as soon as I leave Warsaw. Toda? All of it? Meaning how much? Enough, so you won't have to lift a finger for the rest of your life. What about the travel chest? Do we have to bring that? Oh, absolutely. That's exactly what I'm paying you for. So, all right. Vamos? No, if time's running out. If this is going to work, then we need to get going. Ariel, you go to the puerto and call the little captain. La señora will get changed. And we'll follow after you. Victor will come too. You'll see if anyone's following us. Что? I do what? What you paid for. Via Candios, my friend. Agita Nar, Shaifella. I guess I'm supposed to talk. Yeah. You damn white fucker. You've ruined my life. Your chica did what she wanted. Victor, tell him I'm right. Two of you? I'll fuck you both up. I'm going to get killed because someone disrespected the sanctity of marriage. Shit. Eh, no worries. I'll be fine. Alright, start a fight. Uh, issue an order. Um... That takes so long, honestly. I don't think it's even worth it. Let's start with suffering on this dude. And I'll put suffering on that dude. Actually, what does this guy have? What does that do? Reduces impact on owner's focus by one. Okay, that's fine. I can do that. Suffer. Agony on this guy, and now I should be have a really strong attack on I don't know who yet. You maybe. I 
think this one, right? Should kill him, almost. Because it's gonna be EB even more increased after I suffer the third guy, yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Can I do something else? Not really. I'm gonna attack the guy on the left, I think. 60% chance. That's a pretty good chance. Let's see. Now I want something quick. Um... Now, does any one of them have a quick attack? You? No, I think I want to remove the status effect from you. Oh yeah, it transfers all negative effects to the enemy, that's good. Ah, that didn't work out, but that's okay. So that okay that guy died this guy's gonna be suffering now so i can do a strong attack here and kill him yep. now he's bleeding this guy's dead and this guy can now be killed with someone like this I'll just do a quick attack. Actually, those will kill him, so why not? There we go. Have you ever considered celibacy? Your business would go better. But what kind of life would that be, Senora? The boat can't hold that! There is no choice. If God wills it, a broom can shoot. Load it up. Vamonos. There's no time. I need another word with Victor. Senora. Time to pay up. They're waiting for your reward. Time's running out. I need the knowledge you promised me. What are you guys lagging around for? Hurry up! Your father moved in the circles of people who shared his views, who would like to see Poland back on the map. Do you understand what I mean? He was a patriot. Why not if the friends are revolutionaries? My father and the revolutionaries? There's no way that could be right. I beg you. Whatever he was planning, it was certainly more subtle and effective than planting bombs in restaurants. I never met them. He called them his coterie. 
They were all friends of his. He secretly dreamed of creating a force that would give true hope to the Polish people, one that might till the scales in favor of the independence fighters. Loka, quickly! He believed he didn't need a great army, just a handful of daredevils with extraordinary abilities. You getting in the boat or not? I need to go. Your father was a wonderful man, Victor. And you remind me of him a great deal. Thank you for everything. Wait, who are these people? How can I find them? I don't know. They hide in the shadows. Good luck. I trust that you'll find your grimoire, Viktor Shulski. Well... Adieu. Keep an eye on those bequeathal papers. If there's a problem with payment, we'll reach out to you. Why are you so distrustful? When a poor man eats a chicken, one of them is sick. Amigos. That would kill my father. You think they're dead? They had no chance. Clad in clay and the fury of the sons of Israel will arise to crush their enemies. Get out of here. Golems follow blood. The farther away you are, the better. I know that Salters are not material. I don't believe it. Salators can't physically manifest. Tell her to have you. Look at this guy teaching Kabbalah to a Jew. That was a golem, you schmuck. And it will pursue them until their blood is lost in the abysses of Sheol. You understand? Ask what he should do to make him stop. What am I supposed to do to get rid of him? The golem is going to look for you until he kills you and all of those of your blood. That is... Unless you can figure out why he was sent after you, you must have really gotten under somebody's skin. I haven't done anything to anyone. That means someone of your blood did it. Do you hear me? Ask your blood. Get lost. You're not exactly my favorite person right now. That's how the father died, you know? I think. Better explain it. I guess there's nothing for me here. Was that the sound of a fuck-up? Shouldn't we check it out? Like hell we should. 
They don't pay me enough for that. You! Stop! Papers, please. Use your Okrana ID. I thought I wouldn't have to resort to this, but since you insist. Of course, sir. We are sorry. Go right ahead. No need to fight them if I don't have to. I guess I have to fight these guys though. That's fine. I can do that. Issue an order. Um, this guy is suffering. Yeah, let's go with the suffering guy. Uh, let's make him suffer. And I'll make the guy in the back suffer as well. Let me make this guy suffer too. And then do the suffering attack on someone. So 8, 16, 24. I don't know if that's enough, but let's try. Actually, no, it's probably better to do it on this guy. this uh reduces impact on owner's focus who cares let's go to special attack let's kill him Attack the wrong target, my bad. Whatever. Should be dead as well. Don't even think of reaching for your magic book. Fania's pistol has a very sensitive trigger. The second he moves, I'll blow his brains out, Chief. Chief! Let's do our best not to have Vanya shoot you in the head. All right. All you have to do is tell us where Svetlana Petrovna is. Dead. There was an accident at the pier. Help is needed. I'm running to a phone. There's been an accident. I think the pier collapsed. Was Svetlana Romancer there? Maybe this is an misunderstanding. There must be some mistake, Chief. The mistake was beating up my brother. You did seriously rough up my men at Romancer's apartment. You can hand over the ID too. You won't need it anymore. Svetlana. We've got to find her, Victor. Say that you were with him when he last saw her. The last time we saw one another was probably at the party with the ghost. The one that got ruined. Don't you remember? He'll have to try harder than that. I'll shoot him, Chief. We haven't got time, Victor. 
We need to find out where she is. We know you helped Rumianso escape. And I know she was sleeping with your father. I told you, he had no secrets from me. I was helping him. I'm running out of patience. Where is she? Ask what Okrana want from her. Now ask about her father collaborating. I didn't like my father. No one did. But his collaborating with the Okhrana seems improbable to me. A wealthy Pole in the Russian partition who avoided not one, but two serious scandals. A divorce and your incident with Nyejits. Would he have managed on his own? The question is, what did Svetlana know? Ask what, she, uh, what they want from her. And what do the secret police want from her? That woman was a Gordian knot. I know that she spent years compiling all sorts of compromising material against the Tsar's government. She was a traitor. We were observing her, but she managed to get everything out of her apartment. I need to know if her knowledge could threaten the security of the nation. I want to ask nicely. If you want something from me, you just need to ask. I have a better idea. You tell me what you know, and I... I know where your papa's little black book is. Quid pro quo? First get him to say who has the black grimoire. I want to know who stole my father's grimoire. This time, you go first. As far as I know, all Svetlana's secrets went with her to the bottom of the Vistula. <sighs> Should we take him to the Citadel, Chief? No, Vanya. We'll finish this here. Why did you help Svetlana? It made you help her in exchange for information. It was purely business. Her freedom in exchange for information. And? Did she tell you what she wanted? Yes. Ask why he shot Vanya. You first. Why did you kill him? I never liked him. And he shouldn't know so much. Get to the point. You want to know where the Black Grimoire is? Quid pro quo, Chief. Where's my father's grimoire? Look for it in uh, Stanislav's circle of old friends. People who could take advantage of a missing grimoire. Thaumaturges. Do you know who they are? Where I can find them? No. But, once you do, don't neglect to inform me. And watch out. They're very dangerous people. All right. I need to get out of here. Probably a good idea, isn't it? You're finally here. We've been waiting for you. I'm afraid I was boring your charming sister with my chatter. Ah, oh, nonsense. I'll leave you two alone. You look tired. Is everything all right? Do you need my help? 
Say you've had a difficult uh, Ask how he knew where he lived. How do you know my address? People in Warsaw know who the Shulskis are. You're quiet this evening. Did something happen? Ask you a difficult night. This has been an especially difficult night for me. Is everything all right with Shetwana? Why do you ask? You two left without saying goodbye. Did something happen? First, tell me about a golem. I saw a golem. A golem? From Jewish legends? Is it a salutor? Yes, and it turned out to be a very real salutor. A material one. I didn't think that was even possible. And what does it have to do with Svetlana? I'm afraid Svetlana is dead. <sighs> I was afraid of this. Did the golem kill her? You could say that. The golem sank her boat by collapsing the roof over the pier. Svetlana intended to live off of selling other people's secrets. Secrets can be deadly. Do you want to know what she shared with me? Ask first if it means blackmail. You're not proposing blackmailing anyone with anything, are you? Nonsense. Of course not. As I told you, I want the world to see my truth. I want to stop the annihilation of countless human beings. But on my own, I am like Cassandra. Yet, with Svetlana's knowledge and you by my side, no one will have any choice but to believe me. I'm intrigued. The question is, can you bear the burden that she also carried? Yeah, of course you can manage. I've really got a lot on my shoulders. My father's secrets, his lover's death, the Ochrana, and now a golem. I think I can bear this too, if it lets me get rid of the other problems. Hmm. Can you say which secret of Svetlana's you mean? She had a whole chest full of them. That wasn't in the chest. And now it's only in my memory. Will you tell me what this is about? Not here, no. Get some rest first. At our next meeting, at the Narizhinskys. It's safe there, for now. Get to the point. Will you ever let me in on the secret? For now, I don't want to risk it. I don't even want to talk about it here. That your sister can remain uninvolved. One more question. Might this golem cause you any trouble? It's likely. I'm sure I'll find out soon. I think we need to have a word. How do you know people like this, Rasputin? Explain. Uh, first ask when Rasputin arrived. How long was he here? He arrived shortly before you did. Unexpectedly, he scared Grazina. I received him in the salon so that he wouldn't go wandering through the house. What were you talking about before I interrupted you? What difference does it make? About... Strange. I don't remember even. Sometimes he has that effect on people. <sighs> what kind of person is he? Explain. He's that miracle worker I was writing to you about. The one who helped me return to my senses. Not completely, I think. Given that you brought him with you. He just came to see me. I owe him a lot. It looks like he knows you better than I do. Do you barely know him? I actually barely know him, but he's never yet refused to help me. I can only congratulate you on having friends like that. First Njedzic, now a gloomy hermit. And ladies of the night have started hanging around outside the windows. Are they also friends of yours? Ask about the mysterious woman. Who are those women? 
Whores, Victor. Prostitutes. Women of easy virtue, daughters of Corinth. Courtesans, moths, hookers, floozies. I've been seeing two girls around here recently. They stand out on the street and peek into our windows. Maybe Abaurissa is playing a prank. This can wait. Ligia, I'm really dead on my feet, but there's one more thing we need to have a word about. I wonder what I don't know yet. Hey, the golem is a danger to you both. Did you know that someone sent a golem after our family? A golem? <laughs> the kind from Jewish legends? This one was very real. It destroyed half the port while it was trying to kill me. Port Praga? Are you all right? What were you doing there? They were looking for information about your father's grimoire. I was tracing father's missing grimoire. Someone sent a golem after him. And now that person is trying to find us, too. Why? That's what I have to find out. Ask about Konechkin. How long have you known your chief? What does that matter? So you knew he worked for the Ohrana? Yes. You'd have found him in the end anyway, but he asked me not to tell you right away. Okay. The understanding. I understand that each of us has various relationships we're tangled up in. But I think we should start talking oh, so about angry. Him more often. Agreed. I'll only add that a contact like him is very useful in business. I'm guessing he knows how to arrange contacts for you. I'm sure he often invites you to all sorts of soirees and receptions, right? I don't always accept. It seems like we've each got our own miracle worker. I know who he is, and I treat him very cautiously. Plus, we've already established that you don't report to me about your acquaintances. Besides, it was Papa who introduced him to me all those years ago. What's the real reason we're talking about Konyechkin? So you just saw him. I saw him once more, at Port Praga. And what was he doing there? Does he have anything to do with the golem? He was looking for Svetlana. He was actually interested in Svetlana. Explain, please, how you can be so sure. Explain you were helping Svetlana. I helped Svetlana. She wanted to flee the country. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Do you know what forces you're playing with? You know full well who she is. Our Svetlana is dead. Who she was. Sorry, what? Svetlana is dead. She was just setting off on her lovely voyage when a golem appeared and... Svetlana is dead. We're finished. They'll put us both in prison. What will become of us? Bring a Voronin. What about Uncle Sasha? He's always eager to help. It's too risky to arrange this through family. And morally dubious. I'm afraid this is outside his purview. Okay, sure, he'll think of something. Don't worry, nothing will happen to us. I'll make sure of it. How will you do that? For sure that he can trust your abilities. O oh, ye of little faith, you can trust me, sister. I do trust you. And look how far that's gotten me. That's a little unfair, sister. Ask if your father had any member enemies. Was there anyone who very openly disliked father? More than you? Touché. Hmm. Did he know some sort of thaumaturge who might have been out for revenge or... Did he mention a coterie to you at any point? Did he meet up with other thaumaturges? As far as close friends, I think you already know that's a dead end. And he never introduced a thaumaturge to me. 
Has she encountered the golem before? You haven't experienced anything unusual recently? Nothing so remarkable, given I'm living with the Thaumaturge. You think there's any way I'd have let a golem slip by me? Now that you think it's time to get some rest. Look, why don't we leave this conversation until morning, hmm? I agree. Good night. Why are my cigarettes? Ooh, that's the first act. Okay. Do we have any more clothes? No. We need to get more of them. That's the father's room over there. Alright, let's sleep. Ooh. It looks familiar, and yet different. Is this a dream? I need to get out of here. Read him sar sarcastically. The devil himself. Blind fool. Well, what don't I see? Maybe you could give me an answer this time. What don't you know? First remark that you've been seeing him more often now that he's dead. We've been seeing one another more and more since you died. Ask me about something you don't know. Ask about Konyechkin. Why did you let a rat like Konyechkin into our home? Now he's dogging Ligia and me. Were you working for him? Did you start informing on your customers for him? A fool's theory. Ask about Golem. Why is the Golem pursuing our blood? You've not just put me in danger, but Ligia as well. Who did you hurt so much that the golem was aiming to? Hold on. It succeeded, didn't it? That's what killed you. That's what made the building fall on you. Who inflicted this punishment on you? What for? And how the hell do I lift it? Everything I've done. Was with your children and mine. I've heard it all before. For our good, I know. Thanks a lot. I definitely didn't ask for a blood curse. Are you finally going to say something? You've wasted your time. I left you all the answers. You just have to find them. Where am I supposed to look for them? In the back grimoire, which I nearly got from you? In that case, where is it? Who was it? Your friends? Your cottery that you hid even from your lover? Who are they? What were you planning? You possess everything I had. I have left you everything you need. No, you did any piece of shit. Alright. Come back here. I'm not finished with you yet. Look who's up. Sleeping beauty. Have some coffee. In the morning, Grazenka brews it strong. Unless we're still arguing. Apologize for your behavior. Forgive me for yesterday. Warsaw was getting to me. 
Yes, I know the feeling. And I don't want to quarrel with you either. We'd be better off focusing on the obstacles ahead of us. Maybe I'll talk to Konechkin. I suspect he'll offer us a deal with the devil. For now, I'm just thinking out loud. I thought about what you were saying yesterday. Those strange phenomena related to the golem. Once, when I was taking a carriage to the store, the horse took fright. First it reared, then it started kicking, and after a moment it froze and dropped dead on the cobble stones. But it was already old. Could that have been the golem? They are sure of that. Recently, there's nothing I've been more sure of. Does that mean we might be in danger? I don't know how long it took the golem to reach father. He only found me in Warsaw that one time. I don't know how he works. I can't believe father didn't know that either. There must be something in his office. Anything. Maybe. Is there any other way you could find out? You had a dream about your father. I had a dream about father. Me too. Right after he died. He was soothing me with my favorite lullaby. First he insulted me. And then blood poured down his face. Mm. Very funny. Do you see him often in your dreams? Maybe this was the only second time. This was only the second time. I hope there will be more. It's been a long time since I was quarantined in the hospital. They're not ordinary dreams. They're very realistic visions. I talk to him, I ask questions, but... I can't understand his answers. Why don't we focus on real life? Ask if the paper said anything about Port Praga. Has anything been reported about Port Praga? I've been keeping an eye out, but nothing yet. But Svetlana's disappearance won't go unnoticed for long. Hyenas like fresh corpses. Ask her to let you into the family store. I know that you're still sorting through things there, but I really have to visit our store in Miruf. I'm basically done, and I was planning to go there now after breakfast. Will you join me? Yeah, sure. I should look through all of father's things in the store. Everything he left behind. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Not much has changed here. Just the sign. Or maybe the owner. That's right. Now it's your kingdom. I don't think queens dig through columns of numbers, exotic names, addresses, and consignment notes. Or scold customers who don't know the difference between powdered skull and powdered mummy. Have you developed an interest in the family business? First, ask what the difference between the two powders. Actually, what is the difference between mummy powder and skull powder? Uh, skull powder is powder from a skull. You use it to make an extract for apoplexy and bleeding. Thomas Willis, a pioneer of brain research, had a habit of adding it to his hot chocolate. You're out? Powdered mummy is an oil. Egyptian mummies are covered in a dark substance that's a mixture of embalming fluids and organic fluids from the body of the deceased. This hardened human resin has to be scraped off the mummy and made into an oil. It helps with wounds, rashes, sore throats and dizziness. It sounds like that substance is bitumen. And there are easier ways of getting it than scraping mummies. That might be, but our customers prefer scraped mummies, unless you are considering diversifying our selection. But made the story safer in her hand. This conversation has convinced me even more that father left the business in the right hands. 
I have to take care of the inventory. Try not to make more of a mess than there already is. What is this? The photograph, Victor. A marvelous invention. Father was very fond of them. I meant what father has on his face. That smile. I'm sure someone he disliked had just died. Did you want something, or are you here to joke around? Ask when the photo was taken. When was this picture taken? Who knows, a quarter century ago? We must not have even been five. You two look more and more alike. Don't scare me. Was well, ask if the man next to him is more shy. Hayat. The guy next to father. That's Hayat, right? Yes, he's just younger, Victor. That's how photographs work, you know. They stop time and place. I can also see here that they were friends. But a year ago, that ended, and they stopped working together. Yes, you mentioned it recently. It's a shame Papa never said why. Ask if Mordecai wished death on your father. Could Hayad have wanted our father to die? Could he have sent the golem after him? I think you'll have to ask him. I heard that he bought out one of the two rundown laundries here in Miruf, not too far away. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. We're back. I'm taking another look around. Is that? Yes. I'll take a quick look around. Be careful. <laughs> On my way. I wanted to talk to you about a certain university. Remarkably, you remember the store differently. The store looks better than I remembered. More human. I've sorted through the remaining junk, and I'm keeping the monkey brains, prepared corpses, and potency ointments just in the catalog now, so mothers can come here with their kids. Do you want to be better than father? People look at a businesswoman strangely, so I intend to prove to them that I'm better than businessmen. I'm doing my best. Okay. Uh, ask if the golem is physical manifested lately. Has anything strange happened lately? Anything that might have something to do with the golem? A cup fell from the table and... Someone stumbled while crossing the doorstep, but I assume those aren't things that can be attributed to a golem. Most likely common clumsiness. That's good news. And some plaster fell from the ceiling, but that's probably because something was passing by. Nothing serious. Anything else? Where's the subject of the university? What's this mysterious university? I'm giving a lecture at the Flying University. It's a very informal educational initiative, not to say secret. And an important one, especially for women who can get an education from us, which they are legally prohibited from doing under the partition. I'd like you to come with me. Agree to accompany her? Ask what the lecture is about first. What's the lecture about? The economic aspect of the woman's question. I've gathered some interesting data and managed to get some great sources from France and England. Come on! Those two brain cells you still have will appreciate a break from booze and trouble. Come with me. Sure. 
Of course I will go. I would be honored. No questions or bargaining? Who are you and what have you done to my brother? If it's important to you, there's no need to persuade me. The university is meeting in the antiquarian bookshop across the green square. Which brings us to the most important thing. Everyone brings something sweet, so I ordered some donuts from Mrs. Yagoda. The best ones. And the best donut is filled with... Rose jam. With... Uh, rose jam. Hmm? When did you get so boring? I learned to appreciate classics. Get those donuts, will you? I'll see what I can do. Yeah, let's search the study, I guess, in our house. Since I haven't done that immediately. Why did it send us there? Fate has brought us together again, Victor Sosa. Fuck off. Why do you bother, King of the Tempermancers? I learned from my mistakes, and now the time has come for me to reclaim the throne and the title that I deserve. Come on, I dare you. First, ask him if you're the only one who pesters like this. Do you pester other Thalmatids too? Of course not. The others are insignificant compared to you. I dare you. Fine. All right. To me, visitors. To me. Salutors, not visitors. All right, start. Let's go with this guy first, I think. I can howl. This guy uh, has reduced damage taken, but that's fine. I can still do old wound here. Even if it will not do a lot of damage, I think it's still fine. Issue the order on the up here to deal a lot of damage, and then I guess I can attack the guy on the right with even more suffering. Do I do one more? That will hurt a lot. And maybe I can then attack the next one. Ow. 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 That guy's dead. This guy's gonna be dead as well. And for you, I guess I can start draining your focus. Give him all the ailments. This one's shorter. Let's go with that one. Alright, and now let's go with this. And uh, let's go with that. Another quick attack. 
Uh, actually. Let's make a strong attack. There we go. Have you had enough? Never. There is no shame in losing to a better man. The way tells me to find you again soon. Fuck him. You don't have any powers. What way? What are you talking about? Your salutars are two drunkards with a screw loose. Stop calling yourself a thaumaturg. But the title... I... I... Anyways... Very close to leveling up uh, HP again. to find their meeting place. Like the beam arrow. Hello. You said a month, two at most. I believed you. Then came the very first rain, and it was pouring in again. You fixed it, then the next rain. Soaked. I can't sleep because I have to keep emptying buckets. It's leaking just as badly as it was before. But the eyes of God are in every place, and they're watching. Rabbi. When I said two months, you said there was one hole in the ceiling, but the whole building is in shambles here. I can do it. Quiet. You can seal up your daddy's barn with straw. The roof is gonna get holes because the foundations are crumbling. So, let's go down to the basement. Oh no, definitely not there. Demand a conversation. No, first ask what's wrong with the basement. What's in the basement that's so frightening? Hashem, something down there reeks so awful. 
Come now, don't be silly. Man of conversation. There are a few things we have to sort out soon, Rabbi Sofer. You see, all I gotta do is mention these cellars and his name comes up. Would Hashem let a synagogue be haunted? Hey now, quiet. You're too late, I'm afraid. My name is Feldman. Rabbi Sofer departed this world almost a year ago. Forgive me, I have worldly matters to attend to. Oh, my thirst. I can't leave without an answer. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes. I'm not leaving yet, I want to see what's downstairs. Yeah, manipulate him. I can the youngers one resistance, so he puts his foot down. Hmm. Back up. God helps those who help themselves. But maybe you're right, Rabbi. Maybe Hashem is afflicting us, setting a test for us. You heard the guy talking about Sofer. The old man cursed this place, especially these cellars. So I'll go on my own and show that Hashem protects me against curses in Hashem's domain. On your own. You can seal up your daddy's barn, right? Fine, let's go. You've gotten the better of me again, Hashem. Your tests still surprise me. But if this is your will, I think Hashem has sent you to me. Who are you? Sarah Thaumaturge. I'm a Thaumaturge, Rabbi. And I really need help. Let's go into my office. Let's show Hashem we accept the challenge. There we go. What do we have here? Please, tell me what problem brought you here. Tell him about the golem. Maybe, Rabbi, you could tell me something about golems. Thaumaturge, golems belong to Kabbalah, and you're forbidden from knowing anything about them. It's a trap for a soul. There are tales of golems being summoned for revenge, or in good faith, for protection. But they all end rather badly. Rabbi Sofer puts a curse on my father. Unfortunately, it started affecting his children as well. A curse is a serious accusation, you know. I find it hard to believe Sofer would do such a thing. Do you think this has something to do with a golem? I don't know. Did the old rabbi perhaps leave some things here? May I take a look at them? Yes, here you are. All his books are here. I don't think I threw anything out. Is there anything else I can help you with? Ask about Isaac. Rabbi, could you tell me something about Sofer? He was fair, but also difficult and very principled. Like this city. Riots, provocations, pogroms, overpopulation. But if he's the one who inflicted the curse, he must have been a powerful thaumaturge and Kabbalist. Uh, ask if we can help you with Kabbalah. Rabbi, could you help me understand something about Kabbalah? No, and I'll say no more on the subject. I fear for your soul. Ask who can summon a golem. Who can summon a golem? Normally, it's determined by need. The Kabbalist rabbi summons the golem himself, but other Jewish people can also entreat him to do so. In legends, 
The golem is a terrible punishment and a tool for meeting out divine justice. But I think it's an offense against Hashem, and revenge is no justice. Ask her how to stop a golem. How can I stop a golem? To summon it to life, you write the three Hebrew letters spelling MS, truth, on the clay that formed it. In an attempt to stop the monster, the heroes of these legends would erase the first letter from its clay body. That leaves mess, which means death. But I don't know how much truth is in that. I'm afraid that I won't find anything more here. Thank you, Rabbi. Rabbi? I'm listening. Ask about the old Rabbi's prescription. I found a prescription belonging to the old rabbi. Was something troubling him? He had heart problems. The local pharmacist would even bring him some kind of special medicine. What was that pharmacist called? Abraham Horowitz. But now his pharmacy is sitting empty. Let me guess. He's dead? Unfortunately. Some say that the socialists were involved. Others claim it was the Ochrana's doing. Let's keep talking, if you need to. Uh, Mordechai Kajat. Mordechai Kajat. Do you know that name, Rabbi? He owns one of the laundries here in Miruf, but I admit he doesn't really come to see me. Maybe there are other things I could be of more help with. Leave. I'll be off now. I'll pray for you. All right, are we done here? I think so. Alright, anything else? Oh. Let's see if the barber has anything else. Actually, no, it had everything unlocked. We need the outfitter. I don't want a different hairstyle or different clothes. That's him! The one with the book! You oozing carbuncle! You ain't had enough of Warsaw yet? So you're sticking your nose in on people here? You know what happens to fellas who sniff around where they ain't supposed to? Miruf, don't kid around with them. Ask who wants to ask you to leave. And who am I supposedly bothering? And you 
have wasted the chance to keep your mouth shut. We'll cure this posh boy of his nosiness, you can bet. Well, well, well. I'm not even scared of you, bros. I don't even care about the focus, right? So let's just drain his... Oh, I cannot drain it by two. Mm. Let's start with this guy. Let's put the howl on him. And let's put suffering on this dude. Next, issue an order. S uh, U. Perhaps. No, S U. And let's do a bloody penance. And ag agony as well. So all three of them are bleeding. Ow. 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 Cool. So that guy's dead. So let me kill the guy on the left first. And I think a heal would be nice. Do I have a better healer? The guy on the right, maybe? Yeah, restore standard HP. That's good, I think. I should get a heal maybe and oh never mind ow that's fine is that Talking nonsense! Did you hear about Praga? I'm at the harbor getting fish, and half the wharf is in splinters. They said there's even bodies. More bodies than they usually fish out of the Vistula, practically every day. They were only just writing about Povishle. But listen to this. They're saying it's some giant did it all. You sure? Maybe I can help. Recently I've taken an interest in one of those. Leave us alone. Did you wander in here by mistake? I'll say nothing. You got some dirty laundry that needs cleaning, Mr. Shulsky. I love the conversation that you just interrupted. I was interested in this giant you mentioned to the fishmonger. I can't help you. Rabbis are the ones who deal with golems. I didn't say anything about a golem. I'm afraid I can't help you. And now, if you'd like... Look at his conflict with Stanislav. Let's have a word about your conflict with my father. There was no such thing. I have warm feelings for the store. And his father as well. That's why he left your store. Why did you quit working for my father? It was a mutual decision. 
I know that you and my father parted ways in bad terms. What happened? We both had difficult personalities, but I still remember him fondly. Pedro. You're not telling me everything. I don't have to explain myself to you, Mr. Sholsky. Yes, you do. I'm leaving now, but I can tell this won't be the last time we meet. Farewell. Is there something else you need? Informing how the father died. You were curious how my father died. Beneath the ruins of a building in Shrudmieszcze. That's awful. How did it happen? I'm glad you're asking. A remarkable death, isn't it? Yes. What is conflict with Stanislav? Let They've got proof of their disagreement. Liar. Your anger still lingers around the photograph of my father. You're going to find it hard to hide anything from me. I'm not in the habit of speaking ill of the dead, Mr. Shulsky. Especially to their family. Old grudges drove us apart. Not all stains are easy to remove. Especially ones on a person's honor. And might they give you a reason to seek revenge? A motive? I can't summon golems, if that's what you're getting at. But you know there is such a possibility. Is that all? I need to get back to work. Say you know about Abraham Horowitz. I know about the pharmacist. Beg your pardon? All this is because Abraham Horowitz, isn't it? He lost his life, and the whole community felt it. Seems like you did most of all. I just don't get why Horovitz was so important to you. Community. Something you Shulskis don't know a thing about. Here, we take care of everyone equally. No one is more or less important than anyone else. Your father's punishment was fitting for his actions and his background. The wrath of the Jewish people. A death for a death. Was it worth it? A golem is a blunt instrument that kills and harms everyone in reach. What are you talking about? Prove that Glom's curse has taken its toll. You wanted to teach my father a lesson, and you did. It's too bad innocent people died in the process. The building that collapsed on Stanisław, it was inhabited by people. Now all that's left of them are some damaged items. That's what happens every time the golem physically manifests. Random people lose their lives due to its untamed power. No, it can't be. It wasn't supposed to be that way. Is the subject of your father and Horowitz? I don't think the punishment is adequate for the crime. Horowitz had something on his conscience. He must have if both the Ohrana and the socialists were interested in him. And what my father did, I can't believe I'm saying this, but his motives seem noble. Oh, do they? There's no trace of cruelty in his actions. He didn't do it for his own profit, but for some kind of greater good. Without any specifics, those are just words. I leave him in uncertainty. Fuck him. You'll see for yourself. If you do something for me. What do you want? To get rid of the golem. Tell me something, anything, that will get me closer to a solution. Instead of telling you, I'll show you. Where? Into an alley? Where some friend of yours will smack me around? To the synagogue. Are you coming? Sure. Yes, let's go. We'll stop to get Feldman. He should see this too.
So... No wonder the roof is leaking if the foundation is crumbling. A lovely metaphor, Hashem. But what happened here had nothing to do with Hashem. Did it? Mr. Shulsky wished to know the origin of his curse. This is where it took its shape. If I'd... Now I see it differently, but... But back then, when I was talking to Sofer, revenge and justice seemed one and the same. Revenge is no justice. It is always dictated by anger, and in anger, erring comes easily. But Sofer agreed to it. He summoned the golem. What else do you want to know? Say that you have to take it now. Ask what Harad remembers from the summoning. What do you remember from the moment you summoned the golem? Nothing. I don't want to go back to that. Loosen his tongue. Your memory takes shape and forms into words. Talk to me, Mordechai. <gasps> I feel cold. Cold from the clay seeps into my fingers, into my bones. But the Colossus I've been sculpting for hours is nearly ready. Sofer whispers the spell in Hebrew, but his words throb in my temples and soul. The Colossus comes to life and looks at me. What did Sofer say then? I don't... I don't know. Speak. I couldn't hear, I swear. I couldn't hear. Truly. Enough, I beg you. Enough. Your family and your blood deserve this curse. Enough. Ah, oh, yeah. How could Sofor have done something like this? And you, sir, how are you not ashamed? Shrug. Hayat isn't the one this clay colossus is following. An eye for an eye, Rabbi. Isn't that just the sort of thinking that got us into the situation we're in now? Perhaps we can learn from our mistakes. They didn't already know everything. This place won't tell me any more. And what have you learned? Went to the ruined wall. The hole you can't miss over there is the new door the golem smashed when it was summoned to life. And no one saw anything. How is that possible? Went to the bucket of clay. The clay formed a shell that Sofer infused with the Salutar. Hayat brought it and spent hours shaping the body of the golem. Hours? That must have been horribly exhausting. What's a few hours in exchange for a curse that lasts generations? Mm. Talk about piece of fabric. These are the remains of some fabric that Sofa wrote something on in Hebrew, I think. This might be some prayer, incantation, even a spell. There's not enough left to read anything. That's all, but I'm not any closer to a solution. I need someone like Sofa. A thaumaturge and a Kabbalist? Do you know one, Rabbi? Well, there is someone. Normally, I'd advise against contacting him, but after considering these extraordinary circumstances, and with trust in your choice of a path to lead me down, I'm compelled to reveal that it's Ariel Rofe. Of course. Do you know one another? It doesn't matter. You could say that. I'll track him down. All right, I think it's time for us to go. This place just makes the blood boil. Shall we? Leave the basement. Let's get out of here. Um, okay, I guess I contact him through the port. Oh, 
There's only one quest, so it's telling me two different ways to contact him. It's here, but something's wrong. In China. Have we met? I told you it was him. The son of Shurmieshche. A great bout in the dungeon, top notch. Want to help some brothers in need? It depends on whether they know where Ariel Rofa is. That depends on whether you know where Ariel Rofa is. Well then, no. Go to hell. Wait, he's got important business here too. And if we do know, you'll help? I know what I want. What's going on? Something's lit a fire under the copper's asses. It ain't enough that their weapon transport went missing. They mucked up again recently. Something smashed it to smithereens and now half the damn harbor's gone. They called in patrols and the army and they're guarding it now. But there's this little thing we gotta get from where it's stashed and destroy it for Ario. So, you gonna help us or what? Sure. I'll see what I can do. Nothing can be kept secret from me. Let's get out health upgrades. Nice. Chevonada. Right officer as well. See how they sparkle? They are worth that much and they could be yours. My friend won't say anything and neither will I. I don't I don't know. Fuck that. We'll split them 50 50. Respect. We had an agreement, right? Ariel hangs out around Ruzitz. But you didn't hear that from us. Hang on. Ruzitz is huge. Well, then, good luck to you. Another barber shop, but I don't need a different style.
That wasn't too hard. Yeah, looks like we got all their information and we can finally contact them. Where do you think you're going, pretty boy? I'm looking for someone. They say he's got a business here. Do the smart thing and hit the road. Go on, fuck off. Ask about the closed store. Am I wrong or are you guarding a closed butcher store? This is Ariel Rofa's Geschäft, right? I'll check you the hell out in a minute and we'll be done. Remarkably, it sounds like uh, the contact you're looking for. You talk just like the friend I'm looking for. I'm asking you nicely, capisce? Bid it. I are looking for Ariel Rofi. I'm looking for Ariel Rofa. Then you can double fuck off, you fucking dunk off. You'll attract more attention with that shouting. Buzz off before I get my club. You are not gonna tell me how to do my job, you flip it and raggedy sort. Beat it. Mention the corrupt policeman. But I know Ariel's got his hideout here. I even know which copper's hands he greases. I don't know about no bribes, you provo... Provo... Tor... Prov... Provocateur? Fuck off. What are the drunk customers? I swear, I know this is Ariel's hideout. Know how to read? It says butcher's shop. Sure, it's extra kosher, because there's no meat at all in there. Come on, every bum at Rujic reeks of booze from this place. And when they come here, I'll tell them to fuck off. Please, I just want a word with Ariel. Ogres, how come he's still standing here mouthing off at you? It's me, Victor. Shulski, I remember. Fuck off. So, should I give him what for, boss? Do what you want. Warn him that the fight won't take long. I'll be right back. But Ogras, maybe don't take on the son of Shrut Miestia on your own, yeah? I'll call you a priest if you want. Yes, we're fighting after all, which is fine. I think I'll start with this guy. Thanks to Rapallo. Oh, Destiny. Um, which attack will I go for? I kind of want to start with something quick, so I think I'll start with this guy and just do a quick one immediately. And right after, I, I'll do the old wound. Ouch. These guys are immune, right? Oh no, this is just reduced damage taken, so that's fine. But this guy has a ricochet, so I cannot attack on this guy, but I can attack you. So suffer him, right? Actually, uh, I need to do this one, yeah. So do a suffering on this guy, and a hidden suffering on this guy, agony. There we go. That's all three of them now poisoned. Now we can start murdering them. Put a second wound. And this guy can now do the bloody wedding. Oh, that would kill him. Uh, 
this guy is times two, so I go on the guy on the left, I think. Yeah. Alright. Let's do times three on this guy. Is dead and you will be dead too. Doesn't matter about the other attack. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, he's gonna die with a with a bleed right after. Dead, dead. All right, leave him be. I'm sorry. Come on, Shulsky. Let's get out of sight. But if anything starts shaking, I'll shoot you. Don't stare. That way. This whole butcher's shop is a cover, right? None of your business. Sit down. Tell me why you're bothering me. How exactly did you find me? First, that's why people call that man Ogoros. Why do they call that Bruiser Ogoros? He's got a green pecker from untreated pox with these little bumps like on those little cocktail gherkins. I hope he gets well soon. I'll pass that on. That everything? Admit how he found him. It wasn't such a huge challenge. Who squealed? Talk about a hideout at uh, Port Praga. You know, I ran into a couple of your bodies in that hideout at Port Praga. I gave the boys a hand. Haven't they told you? I've been wondering for a while what trash to get rid of. Don't be angry. They were acting in good faith. Say what you want. First comment on the setting. A very inventive hiding spot. And a nice place. We've got our own little store here with different varieties. I'm just doing my best to unload it efficiently. Don't waste my time. Get to the point. I've got a certain problem and I'd like to get rid of it quickly. Is it made of clay and weighs two tons when it shows up? So you got sick of running back and forth across Kervich Bridge? That's what it means. I'm not going to pretend I understand. Golems aren't great at swimming, remember? Since it's following you, going across a bridge would force it to... Forget it. I can see why you can't deal with it on your own. I need the knowledge of a Kabbalist. Your knowledge. I think I have at least a few reasons to say no, don't I? The main one is the death of my business partner and best friend. They're sorry he lost to Javier. My sympathies about Javier. Really, he didn't deserve it. But I didn't deserve a golem either. A faithful friend and a quick healer. What am I supposed to do with your sympathies? I don't have time, Ariel. We both know that only you can help me. You can keep tormenting me, but are you going to tell me something or not? I can torment you and tell you. A golem is a salutor like any other, but housed in a physical form. But you attract it and bind it in the same way. Ask him in spotting the flaw. So you need to discern the flaw of the person it's following and then defeat it. Well done. The difference being that it's following blood first and the flaw second. But first, you have to deprive the golem of its physical body. The shell in which the salutor is housed. You also need to know where the ritual was conducted. Because that's the only place you can do it. Good luck. Where's how to, how to get rid of golem's physical body? How can I get rid of that clay shell it has? 
You can't. For that, you need a Kabbalist. Moi. I know the incantation for the Berur ritual. What? Instructions for reversing the evil eye, cleansing body and soul, and hiding from the unwanted, but why should I explain them to you? I'm guessing this will cost me something. Money? A favor? A further humiliation? We'll see. So you know the place where it was a month. I know the place the golem was summoned. The basement of Nozick Synagogue. So, Sulfur managed to do it? Ask about a floor. So, apart from my family's blood, the golem is attracted to my initial flaw, right? Initial? So how many have you got? Four. Admit there's many. I've got plenty. I have a really handsome number of salutors. You're lying. You'd have lost your mind. If you say so. Said it already know everything. Thank you. So we're going into the basement of a synagogue, where you'll use Kabbalah to strip the golem of its physical form, right? Then I'll bind it and free myself from its curse? Not quite. The golem is mine. Find out what he needs the golem for. What do you need the golem for? None of your business. Ask if this is for revenge. You want revenge. That's very sentimental if you think about it. Another word? And you'll be looking for a new Kabbalist. I refuse to give up the golem. Over my dead body. Very possibly. But as you said, You've got a lot of salutors. This one won't make a difference to you. And you'll never hear me say, fuck off, again. And what about my flaw? If I lose my initial flaw, I'll lose contact with my initial salutor, right? Could be yes, could be no. I don't know. Want to find out? No. Unless you've got a long line of relatives with flaws, Don't mention the gear. Just me. Too bad. Actually, I have a twin. An unexpected development. Does she carry a flaw? I don't know. So, find out. Let's wrap this up. We've got a deal. Ha. <sighs> A toast? A very successful batch. We haven't shipped everything out yet. This won't make me go blind, will it? The risk is part of the fun. Raise a toast. L'chaim. I couldn't have said it better myself. Ready. Sure. Let's get this over with. Godspeed. Find that flaw of Ligia's. I guess I do need to find out if she carries this flaw. What's near?
Remember when you promised to show up for the lecture? It doesn't matter anymore. I had a lot on my mind. Well, yes. What brings you here? I'll say you know how to stop the golem. We have to talk about the golem. I know how to stop it now. You know what to do? Tell me. Ask if she trusts you. Do you trust me, sister? I trust you. And I'm glad that you're here with me. Even if uh, it's not always easy. Raise the subject of the necessary flaw. Do you know what a flaw is? Kind of, but Papa didn't tell me too much about his abilities. Explain what flaws are. A flaw is a hidden stamp that sometimes defines our behavior or even our lives. It's formed in the subconscious and centers around the things that matter most to us. It might be the memory of something tragic or shocking from the past, or something that takes us over completely, obsessively. If you were to tell me the one thing in your life that matters most, what would it be? Where's this coming from? My family. And you, so of course. Mm -hmm. Now, seriously this time. All right, I'm sorry, I'm putting you second. Work comes first. I want to work hard and honestly, and I want to be respected for it, not have fingers pointed at me. And so it will be. I guess flaw, okay. I don't doubt you've got that certain something inside you. Say that even so, she has a flaw. Hmm. I can see you've got some kind of flaw after all. I think it's one related to obsessive tenacity or pathological ambition. Should I be offended or afraid? Can I get rid of it? Yes, don't worry. But that's business for later. Nothing will happen to you. You're the thaumaturge here. All right, so what now? Tell her about a place where the golem was summoned. I found out that you can only call off a golem in the place where it was made. It was summoned in the synagogue. How do you know that? I made Kaya show you this place. Father's former sales clerk led me there. Hayat? How did he know? Don't tell me he had something to do with this. Another truth. Well, he begged the previous rabbi to send the golem of the father. He did it out of revenge for the disappearance of a certain Horowitz. The pharmacist? What exactly is Hayat accusing Papa of? Of killing him? Ask if she trusts you. Do you trust me, sister? I trust you. And I'm... Okay, uh, ask her to come with you to finish the golem's case. I need you. We must end it. Together. You sound serious. What's going on? Today, the curse placed on Father will lose its power. But we have to get going. Are we going down into the synagogue basement? Hey, Rolf is expecting you both. Ariel Rofer is already waiting for us. He's the one leading this whole thing. Do I know him? I sincerely hope not. He's not a suitable companion for you. Oh, now I'm dying of curiosity. There's no time. <laughs> How exciting. I, I feel 10 years old again. The game is great. Like the storytelling in this game is amazing. All right. Uh, only have like three minutes left, but let's change our skills, I guess. 
It's, it's uh, gonna be running out soon. Where is that? Thaumaturgy? Yes, here. We did get some new abilities, right? So let me put those back. Uh, exposure is pointless. Bond of speed. One round faster is really cool. But I don't know what I would put it on. Uh, oh, that's cool. Damage by additional 100% of the enemy suffering. I like that. Ah, it slows the planned action. I don't think I need either of those, though. So I will not upgrade either of those. Uh, I also, also wanted to check, well, not the flaws, but how far does the skill tree go? So this is where we'll have the other ones. Oh, you can't really, like, peek further. But it definitely continues after we get the next set of salutors. I don't have the skill points either. I need one more for that. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm only gonna end it here before the boss fight. And next time we can kill him. And yeah, see how it goes. So, thank you all for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.